All right, let's uh, try to interrogate him some more. Poor man. If only I could help him. He is in no state to reply. Maybe some of these items might jock his memory. Nope. Not really. Take this. It will help you. Thank you. Cough medicine, huh? Oh, good God, my shirt is covered in blood again. Bon. I now know where the blood stains Mrs. Marbury so came from. Are you well enough to speak? Yes, I feel much better. All right, so the blood stains came from the medicine, not blood at all. It doesn't um, make him not guilty, but still. We were asking him if he was capable of killing, but he was getting confused. Let's play soft cop. Admit you, you do not believe he is a murderer. I do not believe that you are capable of murder, Mr. Cust. I... I hope not. Did he enjoy the war? Let's not say it like that. Let's get him to talk about the army. You suffered during the war. It's true. I was wounded. I suffered. But... The army was the only place I didn't feel inferior. No questions. Just orders to follow. But ever since you were wounded, you have absences, bouts of amnesia. And headaches. <sighs> Professor Clark treated you. Yes, a few years ago he really helped me with my burned throat. Get him to believe he is innocent. Are we trying to make him innocent? Where are we going with this? Let's accuse him of murdering him. Let's see how he replies. And to thank him, you murdered him? Stop talking about these murders! <laughs> Ask him if he acknowledges going to the three towns. Do you deny being at the scene of the crimes? So? There was no harm in being there. It was only for my work. You were seen at all the crime scenes. Yes, I was. I travel a lot. But not for pleasure. I am terribly unwell in trains. But I had to respect my engagements. My employer gave me very precise written instructions about the towns I had to visit. <coughs> <coughs> Let's see. The company you claim to work for, Silky Legs, has never heard of you. And as for these letters they sent you, they were written on your own typewriter. The company sent me the typewriter when I started working for them. Yes, but the letters were received afterwards. What? So it would appear that you typed them before sending them to yourself. What? Now let's go with it proves that you wrote them. It proves that you wrote them. I may have. Good God! I don't know what's happening to me. My head hurts terribly. <laughs> Another trophy. So where is this going? Do we need to present more medicine? I guess. Take this. It will help you. <coughs> oh. I think I'll be fine. Let us see, Cust. Look at me. 
You know very well that you committed these murders? Yes, I know. But I'm not wrong in saying that you do not know why you committed them. No, I don't. <clears throat> okay, we got a confession from him. Red Cross. Kaiser Mustache, nice. Information added. So it, it always baffles me when someone takes a pill against a headache. After immediately swallowing it, they're fine. Or better. It seems to be so weird and not realistic at all. It's not like you're shooting up heroin or something. Um, talk to Jap. Suspect. He does not deny having committed these crimes, but he has no memory of doing so. No, he doesn't know why he did them. That's different. Okay, let's let's get out of here. Are we done? Let us leave Cust alone. He's at the end of his tether. A tether. All right. And what conclusions have you drawn? Plenty. It might help us to understand him a little better. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Really? What do we know about Cust's health? Alright, he suffers from hemoptysis. He brings up blood when he coughs. That seems plausible. He says that he did not write the letters. He has blood on him. He has a problem with his throat. You would expect a murderer to keep newspaper articles about all crimes, but cost collection starts in Churston as if he heard about the case late on. He suffers from absences. Sir Carmichael was attacked from behind. The blood spurted out in the direction of the sea. He did not appear to recognize Poirot. He had no reason to kill them. Mrs. Marbury saw cost shirt with stains on the bottom holes. Okay, let's go with this. And this? No. Throat. Well, Cust is mentally and physically weak, not really the profile of our killer. Are there any clues that do not support Cust's guilt in the Churston murder? Clues that do not support his guilt. He says that he did not write the letters. Maybe this one. Um. No. Okay, what do we have? He had no reason to kill them. He says that he did not write the letters. Okay. Just try guessing here. Nope. So this one is wrong. Nope. Think definitely is this one is the first you would think and what about the second one nope attack from behind had no reason to kill them. I don't know. I think we already tried this one. So it's really guessing. It has become guessing. He had blood on him. No, that doesn't seem logical.
Oh, this might prove because he had blood on him. Nope. Oh, here we go. Buttonholes. Okay. You would expect the murderer's shirt to be stained on the sleeves, not on the buttonholes. Yet we see quite the opposite. Are there any clues that do not support Cust's guilt? Uh, the letter thing and the blood. This one, this one. <laughs> no, okay. Not the letter thing. Uh, this one and there we go. There are several details which show that Cust is not guilty. Can we say without a shadow of a doubt that Cust is guilty? No, because he had no reason and he did not write the letters. So he's not guilty? I don't see any clearer than before. This is worse. There is one point, Twilight. C'est curieux. Cust admits that he killed, but he does not know why. What did Dr. Thompson say? Even if Cust killed while in an altered state, it still must have been his deepest desire. He must have had a motive. Let's keep it simple. Never mind his motive. He confessed. But you see, he can confess to anything and everything. He denied the murders and then he confessed to them. He confirmed that he never typed the letters. Then, with great ease, I managed to get him say quite the opposite. Come on, he behaved like a guilty man. He lied to his landlady. Because deep down he believes himself guilty. From the papers, he noticed that he had always been at the scene of crimes. He must think that he killed and then simply forgot what he had done. How can you be so sure? Let us look at his psychological profile. You will understand my point of view. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. What is he getting at? Is there another killer? Is Cust clever? Okay, this one is weird. Um, this one is already correct. Observation. Indeed, let us look again at this murder if you please. You will see that the murderer carried it out to perfection. Okay. He had blood on him. Oh, it wasn't for pleasure. He was always unwell on trains. But he had to sell his stockings around England. I have to respect my engagements, he used to say. No. Cost is parsimonious. He keeps his pencils and sharpens them until there is nothing left. It is clear that he did not grow up in luxury. The army was the only place I didn't feel inferior. No questions, just orders to follow. It's not very clever. Clever, mediocre. Is Cust sure of himself? He might be self confident. No. He was very hesitant and shy. Usually, door to door salesmen are very confident, but he wasn't. Easy to influence. He is a seducer, but also. Is Cust a seducer? I've suspected him for some time, but he appeared so harmless. Oh yes, sometimes he got angry and waved his arms about. But even then he wasn't frightening. And he was as gentle as a lamb again immediately afterwards. It was only this morning that I understood. No. Nope. Medium size, glasses, dark suit and a felt hat. Not the sort of man you'd notice. Completely harmless. That's why I forgot all about him. Without any charm. He likes strains, but then again... No. He doesn't like trains. Is Cust impulsive? Is he really schizophrenic or what? He's cold. And is he generous? Miserly. You see, Cus's character is quite the opposite of the murderers. But if he's a madman, can we really talk about his character? You know very well that how a murderer does not behave like a psychopath. 
Apart from the signature, there is no ritual repetition in the choice of victims. Very well, very well. You're right, as always. So, we have no confession, no culprit, no suspects, nothing. And all that after two months of inquiry? What should I do? Have faith. Just give me 24 hours. Twenty-four hours of what? To find a real killer? Go home. And he has a new suit. Look at that. Beige looking. Doesn't really suit him. Alright. We need to uh, leave. To White Heaven, please. Cust's arrest is a great success, Vuparo. It's all clear now, except maybe one or two details. Details? Ah, mon ami. The devil is in the detail, as we say. Excuse me? Patience, Hastings. Everything will be clear once I guest arrive. Best be prepared. Slip a revolver into your pocket before they do. A revolver? But Poirot, what are you afraid of? Trust me. It is important you carry a weapon for this meeting. I will lend you mine. What about telling me what you have in mind? Surtout pas. You wouldn't be able to play your role. Wait one moment, I will bring you my weapon. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting meet. I guess they framed him. That's that's will be the outcome. We need to prove they're all guilty. Bring the revolver to Hastings. Where is our gun? That's the ABC guide. Churston, Devon, population 500 inhabitants, hourly of trains, London. Sure, sure, all right. Hastings hunting? What is that? Hastings' photo album. He's very proud of his bag. It's not a good thing to do, Hastings, hunting. Maybe in that day and age it was normal. Let's talk to him. Let's reprimand him. What about telling me what you have in mind? Surtout pas. You wouldn't be able to play your role. Alright, yeah. He might need to threaten the people with the guns. Always works. <laughs> um, crocodile. Hmm. Look at yourself in the mirror. Maybe to get some ego points. Three points. I'm not... I think I got like 400 out of 600. So I don't think I'll be getting them all in this playthrough. Because the white ammunition are blank cartridges. The others are real bullets. I have to choose the type of bullets to load. What are these? The revolver is loaded with real bullets. I still have time to choose blanks. The revolver is loaded with blanks. I still have time to choose real bullets. Let's go for real. It makes more interesting. <laughs> and makes... Oh no, wait. Crap. The white ammunition are blank cartridges. The others are real bullets. The revolver is loaded with real bullets. I still have time to choose blanks. All right, so our gun is loaded with real bullets to make things more interesting. Yeah, let's 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 go for some drama. Let's see how Poirot deals with that. Could be interesting. And all right, let's talk to Hastings, see how this all unfolds.